Hi guys, it is August 5th, 2020. It's roughly 7 p.m. Um, it's been a long day. As you can see, I'm sunburnt from field work. I did I did a really good job going out by myself. It was a little sketchy. I did pop a tire on the Jeep, um, and I was at the bottom of the canyon. Thank God that it slowly went out, and thank God for little favors because I was able to work my way back up the canyon um, to with, with the with the tire pressure going down to get to a safe spot at the top where somebody could find me if needed. Um, and thankfully the Jeep had a spare as well that wasn't just a little spare tire, it was a full size tire. I was really, really thankful for that. Um, this week has been a little bit of a challenge for me. It's been good and bad. I'm kind of seeing where things go. It's been really important for me to create boundaries with Molly. I've noticed that that's always been something that's really difficult to do, but I can't, um, I can't deal with the constant blaming or, or com my life compared to hers. Um, I've worked really hard to change who I am as a person and to become better than I was yesterday. Um, but at the end of the day, I had to do what was right for me. I love her dearly, but I'm not going to be blamed for doing dumb stuff if she's doing dumb stuff and doing dumb stuff the incorrect way like the, what she wants to do can be done in a very formatted way but she's getting a little trigger happy with what has come into her life instead of slowly approaching it she's like oh i've been researching for like two hours I'm like two hours dude which can be fine the subject i have researched for months now and if done correctly, it can be a lot of fun. But the way that she's doing it and the way that she's setting herself up for it is setting up for failure. So fingers crossed that she does what she's doing correctly um, and that she's able to majorly learn from it. But this was an opportunity for me to take that boundary back. And I had to block her for the rest of the night because I can't, I'm not going to be blamed for being asked my point of view and telling the honest truth about it. So, we will just have to see where it goes. Um, I love her, but I told her not to be dumb. And then she insulted me. So, I'm going to let her do her thing and hope it all turns out right. Um, Esmeralda asked me, what if something happens and there's an emergency? Well, I'm not the closest person there to deal with it. So, she better have a way out and do it on her own. I'm not always going to be there to pull her out of dumb stuff. Um, at this point, this is a boundary that needed to be set. If she wants to be dumb and she wants me to be supportive of it, she's at least got to listen. I can't be supportive and be insulted and told that I'm dumb or that I have a chip on my shoulder for something that I don't. It was just a, um, a point of view that I had stated. So we'll see where it goes. Maybe I'll check back in tomorrow. I'm probably another two weeks here in Chico. Um, my sunburn is starting to mess with me a little bit. That one's pretty red. Um, I'm tired, I'm really tired. I think I'm overly tired tonight, which makes me a little bit more sensitive. I'm also on my period. So we will have to wait and see where everything goes. All right, thanks for my random update.